What's up, Pisces? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot. Pisces, we're going to take a look at your week ahead, starting April 22nd, 2022. Pisces, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the Modern Witches Tarot to deliver your messages. I've decided to show my face, to engage my audience and my subscribers. Come out from underneath the rocks every now and then. Um, I'm not going to do a separate oracle uh, message for you, but I am going to throw some oracle cards to complement your reading. Those messages are going to come straight from uh, nothing but the tea. All right, so we're going to cleanse the energy here. Um, Pisces from doing uh, Aquarius' reading, and we shall begin. Not reading reversals as well. Energies for my fishes was coming up for Pisces this week. Show Pisces what they need to know. Energies for Pisces. All right, good enough shuffle here. So we're going to start off with the Two of Cups here for you, Pisces. Uh, right off the bat, this is about relationships. Uh, so it could be for those Pisces who are already engaged in um, a committed relationship. And what you're experiencing or, you know, getting out of that relation is equanimity. What you're giving is what you get back, right? E equal number of cups, sharing like-minded energies, just, you know, Loving each other, spending quality time with each other. Could be for some Pisces out there who are single, first dates or first invitations out. All right, so that is the Two of Cups. Could also be the uniting of new romantic partnerships if you are single. All right, following that Two of Cups here for you, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles uh, is the start of a new job. It's the card that I always see as, uh, well, it could be several things. It's a start of a new job, contract offer. It's the card of abundance, so the unlimited amount of money that you have the uh, pot you know the potential to earn. Starting new business, investments, savings. There's so much stuff that is wrapped up into that Ace of Pentacles. But when you have the hand, and you have the you know the Pentacle coming forth, someone is about to give you something that's going to be worthy. Okay, so it could be that job, a promotion, pay raise start of a business, all those things that I had just mentioned. Up next now, we have the Queen of Pentacles. The money is really looking stable here for you, Pisces. This is, of course, the boss in the workplace environment. It could be. It could be the creditors. It could be Pisces who are running businesses on their own, home-based businesses. If that is the case and you are thinking about doing some sort of expansion, as a matter of fact, the Queen of Pentacles here mirrors over here to the Two of Cups. That's partnership. So it could be that you're in business, with another person, or you could be going into business with another person, especially with the big money card sitting right in, in the middle uh, between those energies of the Two of Cups and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So you could be um, also the Queen of Pentacles mirrors that Two of Cups once again, that someone could come along if it's for the single Pisces, and this person is already well established in some sort of business, running their own um, business or they're entrepreneurs or they're doing something very important in terms of their career or their work, right? Um, that could also be a situation that I'm seeing here. Um, they have some pocket change. They're well-established, um, willing to, you know, always willing to help out and nourish, never selfish or stingy. Um, they do like the finer things in life but also willing to share that energy with those they come in contact with, okay? It could be simply just the attributes of the Queen of Pentacles here for you, Pisces, and representing how others view and see you, that you're reliable, you're dependable, you're a good money handler, you know, always there for them in a time of need. Okay, so that's the Queen of Pentacles. Up next here we have the Page of Wands. So there's an aspect of some sort of good news coming in very fast here for you, Pisces, to put a smile on your face. And it's so... Uh-uh. No, we don't. Sorry. I have the second camera here where I want to capture all the cards that I'm holding up. But giving you a screenshot... Now, they're uh, of course, they're running horizontal, and this is running vertical, or this is the opposite of what, uh, around. But I want you to see the cards once it's, you know, they're all, all laid down. And if I'm not recording here on the second camera, then, you know, um, inactivity shuts it down automatically. So I had to catch that. Anyway, the Page of Wands is also, too, coming in very fast. That may have a surprise. You guys may be starting new hobbies or, you know, 
um, being inspired to um, begin something new that's very passionate or the beginning stages of passion. Next up, we have the hangman when it comes to um, actions or decisions. It's just, you know, coming through as a reminder, Pisces, that um, you don't have to rush through anything. You can take all the time in the world, okay? You don't have to do anything. Things hanging in the balance, sitting on the fence, that could, you know, type of energy. Very neutral. Up next now, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords here just simply means that you need to detach, break away, even though it sits underneath that Two of Cups from relationships. And if that is the energy, then, you know, momentarily. Um, you just need a break. Take a day off from work. Recapture your independence and your happiness. Reclaim all of that stuff, right? You may be planning future getaways or trips, if we do not get any of the movement cards here by the end of this uh, spread for you. But there is a need, um, Pisces, for you to take a break in some manner. Detach your energies in some manner. Following the Four of Swords here is the Five of Pentacles. Some of you don't worry about that because this is the card of worrying about your work and your finances. You have already have the Ace of Pentacles that sits underneath that. So, you know, I always tell you guys, just because I throw these cards out in sequential order doesn't mean that that's how the energy will potentially open up. This energy that I forecast for you can open up however it wants to express itself. And, and I have no control over it. So there could be still some Pisces who are worried over the finances, uh, coming up short, not having enough money to pay for bills or whatever. Uh, this is my ghosting card. So feeling like, you know, you've been ghosted or you're ghosting someone, giving a cold shoulder treatment. Um, stubborn energy, more or less. There is one good element that comes out of the uh, Five of Pentacles and Pisces, you still could be that one that donates your time and money to worthy charitable causes. And again, it's, it's you know, the Five of Pentacles is temporary, okay? The Ace of Pentacles already trumps it. Then we have the Seven of Swords, people from your past lurking. This could be family members, friends, romantic partners, exes. So they may, be, uh, they may be lurking, lingering around, and then, you know, trying to resurface and re-enter your life in some sort of fashion. Uh, use your best judgment. You, you know, be discerning here, Pisces. These people are still conflicted. Okay? And they're only coming back to add more grief to your life, not add any... Um, anything positive or beneficial. So these are people that you've dealt with already. You know, like I said before, ex-romantic partners, friends, and family members. Even though you can, you know, distance yourself from your family, you can never, you know, blood is blood. But you can love family at a distance. You can love anybody at a distance, you know. These people add nothing new or bring nothing new to the table or add to the plate. So this, you know, use your best judgment. Up next here for you, Pisces, is the Eight of Swords. This is about worry, concerns, fears, sleepless nights. You're not bound. You're not trapped. You can see your way out of a situation. All right. And also, too, this Eight of Swords, are, you know, as a reminder, it could be tricky because um, the trick is, of course, if you're dealing with the Eight of Swords energy, um, I always tell you guys to deal with it, you know, um, so that you're not allowing this energy to linger. Um, so then, you know, therefore it leads to the Nine of Swords energy, which is much worse. So you want to work on this energy ASAP. If it is real, if it expresses itself, if that's something that you're dealing with. On the other hand, you have to be careful of not allowing... Um, you to over flood your own head and your mind with unnecessary um, potential energy of things of, um, you know, thinking about a person, situation or event that has yet to pass. Sometimes that's how we get ourselves tripped up. And then once, you know, it comes to some sort of passage or realization discover it wasn't as bad as maybe you conjured it up in your mind to be. So this is why I said be very, very careful here with the Eight of Swords. I oftentimes read the Eight of Swords too as um, 
you know, a break in communication with family members, friends, or romantic partners, whether or not Pisces, they're at a distance or not, okay? All right. Last card I have for you, Pisces, is the Strength card. So any obstacles or challenges this week, you'll overcome them because you have the Strength card uh, helping to support you. This card is always about uh, a great deal of intensity, a great deal of passion. I always um, talk about sexual energy and sexual expression, but this is you feeling courageous. Um, not so much overwhelming, but, you know, having to lick any fears, okay? Uh, interestingly enough, it follows that Eight of Swords, so you'll kick whatever is going on um, out of the way with the Eight of Swords if you are dealing with that energy uh, in real time. Okay, so uh, you have straight strength on your side. No needs to worry about that. Anyway, that's your reading for this week here. Let's throw some cards from Nothing But The Tea and see what they want to add to your spread. You can use these messages, uh, Pisces, however you want. It's fine by me, right? Let's see. Yesterday, I wasn't mindful of the uh, camera and didn't really have the uh, other videos that I recorded in frame, so I, I had to apologize. And I'm about to kill this damn fly or this bee that's flying around me. Anyway, messages for uh, Pisces here. Okay. not a bad spread here, Pisces, for you this week. First message is, uh, only when I want. Okay, this seems to be coming up a lot. I take this message now, again, this could be for relationships, romantic, platonic, family, whatever, that this is the person that only wants sex when they want it, on their time, on their schedule. Okay, it could be you, you know? Next message here for you is, uh, will you marry me? Someone wants to know, will you marry me? Yeah. Hello. Next message is holding deeds over your head. Can't quite understand this one, but if you if it's useful for you guys, then go ahead and use it. Hold, holding deeds over your head. Next message I have for you is uh, someone being in the hot seat. Okay, someone's in the hot seat or will be. Then we have standing in my power. Straight up, this is you, a Pisces, and the strength card. Right? Standing in your power. I always talk about when the strength card shows up here that owning your power, standing in your power. Now you have a, a oracle card message that confirms or validates what I was saying, you know, all along. Standing in your power. You own it. Last message that I have for you, Pisces, is um, pay for play. Sagittarius had gay for play. <laughs> now this is pay for play. Okay, whatever that means. In any instance, this is what I have for you this week, uh, Pisces. You know, it's just me, soul from Intuitive Tarot, interpreting these cards. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Um, please like the video, share the video, comment on the video. I'd appreciate that. Um, you guys have a safe, great week ahead. Uh, remember to come back to get more of these messages. Remember to smile as well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.